Welcome back to Mishmash Monday, and today we are going to be settling the debate that has plagued the nation since we realized it was no longer delivery. We are going to be using our tasters to taste test pizza and let you know what the best frozen pizza is that you can get. And we have five different pepperoni pizzas ranging from DiGiorno, Frechetta, Tony's, Red Baron, Newman's Own. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. Let's get to the first slice. All right, so the first one we're gonna try here is DiGiorno. All right. Now this looks good. This is like a thicker this pizza. This is honestly when you're, we had a whole bunch of them here. If you check out our Instagram, you can see a picture of them all side by side, but this one looked the best. It has that thick, and depends on what kind of pizza you like. Some people like thin crust. You, true. I like it thick. Okay. The sauce is good. The sauce is really good. It's not very cheesy. I, I wanted more cheese on it. The crust is actually really good. It doesn't have the cardboard consistency that most freezing, freezing? Yep. That freezing pizza has. The pepperoni is really good too. The pepperoni is very bland to me. Maybe it's just me. I like when I get a pizza with pepperoni on it, I like that almost like burnt crisp edges to it. And it's like a grease puddle on there. That's the only reason you get pepperoni is for the extra grease to the pizza. That's fair. Our main thing on these, I think, you gotta taste the crust. Mm. <laughs> Not great. I don't know if any of these are gonna be great. They're frozen yeah, pizzas. I mean, you may have a little bit high expectations for freezer pizza. But hey, pizza's getting expensive. True. Like if you order a pizza for a party or something like that, you're spending $12, $13 for a pizza. More than that. The Giorno was five bucks. So you're getting this pizza, and I think that has to come into the rating too, the prices of the pizza. Fair. So one of them is like $2.50. So what you get out of it price-wise might impact your rating a little bit. Okay. I think. Okay. I'm gonna give this a seven. So are we rating this based on like what we expect from freezer pizza or pizza in general? So I gotta rate this against the best pizza I ever had? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Cause I mean, come on, we live in New York. Agree. <laughs> so no, frozen pizza where everybody, I mean, you kind of know what you're getting into. It's not gonna be a fresh pizza. Right. Although some frozen pizzas can almost taste like it. They're pretty close. I'm giving it a seven. I'm going eight and a half. This is really good. Okay. All right, on to the next. Next up here we have Tony's. Now, now Tony, this is the $2.50 one. So it's half the price. Half the price is a half the quality. But you gave that last one an eight and a half. For I did. Room. You know, I gotta say, just initially looking at this, there is more pepperoni per square inch on this. Is it as good a pepperoni? We'll see. Thinner slices of pepperoni, but mm -hmm. taste-wise, it's exactly the same. Not cardboard. Underneath is white, though. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't taste like cardboard. It's a thinner slice of pizza, though. Mm -hmm. The sauce is good. Not very cheesy. It's about the same amount of cheese as DiGiorno. Okay. But there's less crust to it because it's a thinner slice. So you're getting the same amount of everything on top with a thinner pizza. That's fair. I don't know. This is actually really good. <laughs> I, I gonna, was not expecting that at all. I'm going to give it a six and a half. All right. It's I'm going like, for the crust because I want to taste crust compared to DiGiorno's. All right. DiGiorno had some good seasoning, but it was still dry. And it's a big crust. Yeah. Across the drive with no seasoning at all. Right. But I would still eat it. You said six and a half? Mm -hmm. I was saying the same thing. Yeah. It's literally just a step under DiGiorno, which is saying a lot for being literally half the cost. Mm -hmm. All right, so next up we got Red Baron. And uh, this is like the right in between. It's a little bit thicker yep. than Tony's. Not as thick as the DiGiorno. No. Thin crust, a lot of pepperoni still. And this one's got the curled edges. It's making me hoping for their good pepperoni. And this one actually looks like it has more cheese on it, too. Yeah, it does. And again, white bottom. Salud. Mmm. Mmm. Much cheesier. Mm hmm The crust is a little cardboardy. Very bland flavored crust. Same with the sauce. This, there's not a lot to the sauce, either. Pepperoni's on point, though. Mm hmm This is the best pepperoni out of all of them. And we did pepperoni, so it wasn't just a plain cheese pizza. Right. Pepperoni is the most universally loved topping. We we're gonna go for Supreme, but a lot of people don't like the peppers and everything. I mean, we wanna give it a fair comparison and have them all be the same thing. Pepperoni seemed like the most But universal. have another another thing to differentiate against too. Mm -hmm. Not just, just cheese and yeah. crust and- Cause we love the meats. Crust. Mmm. Mmm. The thing about the Red Baron crust is they put 
the cheese and sauce so much to the edge mm -hmm. that there's not much crust. So you don't get that dryness that DiGiorno and Tony's has had so far. Because mm -hmm. everything kind of goes up to the very edge. So even though there's a little lip, mm -hmm. it still has sauce and cheese on it. So it's almost a crustless pizza. They're a little cold because they've been sitting out, but you still get the general gist. Yes, and the DiGiorno has aged better sitting out mm -hmm. than this has. Which is saying something too. You're not always gonna just eat it right out of the oven. I don't know though, cause it's, I mean, we gave Tony's a six and a half. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna give it a six and a half again. Okay. It's tying Tony's. It's pretty good. No, it's not bad. For frozen pizza, man, this is our life right now. We're just eating pizza. Hey. Right. Next up, we have the Freshetta pizza. And I gotta say, this looks like the closest to a takeout pizza. Yeah, it's, it's another thick daddy right here. It's yeah. close to, like it's as thick as DiGiorno, but it's got better pepperoni. And I'm looking wise. I, I'm excited about this crust right here. That looks good. It's yeah. just the perfect amount of char to it. All these were just cooked the recommended time that was on the box, so. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my God, that is really good. Sauce, A plus. It's mm -hmm. a bland sauce, not much seasoning to it, but it's saucy. It's not right. Not dry. Cheese. Mm hmm. A. Mm hmm. Pepperoni. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This pepperoni is on point. Like, it's got the little burnt, rolled up edges I was just talking about. It's but it's a little oh my thicker. God. Yeah, it's, it's, a, a, it's a thicker. So cut. they actually give you more. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, it's good. All right, gotta try it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's soft still. Even though it's been sitting out, it's still so soft. Oh my god. That's and really seasoned. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's an this eight. is really good. Eight and a half. Nine. That's really, 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 really good. Yeah. So the freshetta, $4.98. Two cents cheaper than DiGiorno. Mm-hmm. So, and the Red Baron, $3.50. <clears throat> so that's gotta come into play. That's another. So so riddle me this. The 250 mm. that the, was the Tony's, mm -hmm. but we only marked it a little less mm -hmm. than DiGiorno. I think that's got to come into play. That might might change the rating a little bit. Right? We'll try the next one and then we'll figure that out. Because that, right. I think that's definitely going to come into play though. On to the next. All right, last up, we have Newman's Own. This was the most expensive one at $5.48. Now, just to look at, <laughs> I mean, no offense, Newman's, but I mean, this is kind of sorry looking. I mean, all proceeds go to charity. Yeah, absolutely. But still, I mean, you have to have a good product. The pepperoni looks thick. Now, we're not saying anything about how it tastes yet. Yeah. But just to look at it, looks a little sad. That pepperoni looks thick, though. It does. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Ah! Right down. Ooh, wow. That pepperoni is so overwhelming. It's not just the pepperoni. It's There's the sauce. something in it. There is very meat forward. It's a sauce. It's, oh my God. It's got bite to it. It does, it's like a spiciness. Mm. So the other sauces are definitely more on the bland side. Even if the, like the last one, the first shot, it was very saucy. It didn't have much flavor to the sauce. Mm -hmm. It just added that like, so it wasn't a dry piece of pizza. This isn't gonna suffer from a dry piece of pizza because it's a thin, very, very, very thin piece of pizza anyway. Right. But that sauce, what is it? It's like oregano? I think it's Ooh. very oregano heavy. Yeah, it's something, cause and then that pepperoni is such a thick slice. Oh, you can see the oregano. It's definitely oregano. I'm gonna try the, the crust here. Yeah, I'm going. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that whole pizza was very soft and flimsy through the whole bite. Mm -hmm. Even that bite trick was some of the pizza. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you get the crust, it's crunch. Yep. Which is a good crust. Crust should be crunchy. Unless it's stuffed crust. I don't know, the crust is good. It's not seasoned, but it's just got the right texture to yeah. it. Yeah. And it's not too dry because again, it's very thin sliced. I think that, I think a seasoning would help with the crust a lot. It would, it would. A lot. What are you thinking? I don't know. I'm very confused because that was a very good thin slice of pizza. Sure. That it was very flavor heavy. Very. I think more so than any other slice. Yeah. And that's why I'm almost tempted to give it higher than the freschetta, even though the freschetta Hush your mouth. was just satisfying because of how thick it was in my mouth. <laughs> you know what I mean though? Like it's it's a different beast. It is. Oh. So dollar for dollar, that was expensive. Five dollars and fifty cents for a thin, very, very thin piece of pizza. Yeah. 
that that's pushing it. That was the same thickness and amount of pizza as the Tony's, which was less than half that cost. Yeah. The Tony's didn't taste as good. Very very bland and generic. When yeah. the Newman's Own had some originality to it. It, it does. Just it spiced it up in your life. I already know what I'm gonna give it. What are you thinking? I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Wow. All right. Because of how good it was, like flavor forward. I, I mean, what's pizza without flavor? It's pizza? just substance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right. What are you giving it? Seven. You're giving that a seven. Seven. That's yeah. tying DiGiorno. No, DiGiorno you gave higher. Than hey, that. I gave DiGiorno. I gave half. DiGiorno a seven. No, I, yeah, I gave Frechetta a nine. Yeah, what? there's just not as much to this, and especially for the price. Best bang for your buck. How much was Red Baron? Red Baron. Three fifty. Yeah. Red Baron. Best, right, that's best bang for your buck. All right. Best overall pizza. I'm giving it to Frechetta. Same. And then Newman's Own. Okay. So we're gonna go. Rank it from best to worst. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> so Frechetta, Newman's Own. DiGiorno. Yeah. Better than Red Baron's. Oh yeah. Red Baron. Red Baron. Tony's. Tony's. But. That Tony's was good for being a $2.50 pizza. Absolutely. Like that's, it's a full pizza. It's not like the mini ones. So like that's two dinners for $2.50. The only you know thing I mean? I'm going to swap with you though, is I got to go DiGiorno second. For you for think it's better than that? Yeah, Frechetta's a dead on winner. Oh, that that's amazing. But for frozen think, pizza. I think DiGiorno second for me. I do like a fuller slice of pizza. My, pre too, my preference comes into it too. I think I typically like a thicker slice of pizza. I don't like the thin Sabaros kind of thing. Like I like a Pizza Hut, Papa John's, those. Right. Th Some with substance. Yeah. Which is weird because we're from New York, which is home of the big, flat pizza. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. Well, I mean, we can switch it. I just think the flavor on that was just so good that it's. Wasn't expected either. It was not at all. Because Newman's Own, I mean, I've, I've had some of their stuff, the sauces and stuff, and they're usually, I mean, they're good, but they're not like, boom in your face like right. this was. Right. This was just like, boom. It did. It did that. Congrats to last week's comment of the week winner. Remember guys, as always, links in the description below to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Smash that thumbs up button if you liked the video. Click over on the Mishmash Circle to subscribe. Yep, remember your support motivates us to make better content for you guys. So hit that notification bell so you get an alert with that next video post. Click up there for the last video and we will see you guys next week. Later.